Okay, you've done your drawing, you've stretched the paper. So we're going to use start with a wash of raw sienna. Add in a little water. Just painting around the little farmhouse. Touch more water. Change to another eight round brush. Just come around the tracks, but leave some white patches. Just to break up the raw sienna. darker areas just to break the tone up around the farmyard tracks well also in certain areas just strengthen the sky up a little bit more interest. A bit stronger where the bushes are. And then allow this to dry. Once your first wash is dried, re-wet this area here with some clean water and with a mixture of ultramarine and burnt sienna, just put in the background hill, just allowing it all to drift down. Doesn't matter about going over the tree. Just bring it down towards the bottom. And whilst that is still wet. With a mixture of burnt sienna and burnt umber, we'll just pop in some background bushes. You don't have to be too precise. It's just an impression. Once you've done that, just re wet the track area. I'm just adding in a little bit of grey and with the same mixture, burnt sienna. An ultramarine, put some tracks in. And this 
edges come to the foreground Just soften the edges on using a damp brush darken it up in the foreground area that to dry. Once this is dried, we'll turn your attention to this tree and some of the bushes. This is a thick mix of ultramarine and burnt umber. Just paint in the trunk. Whilst the trunk is still wet, just drop in some raw sienna and this will give some variation to the tree trunk. Once you've done that, with the same mix, continue on. Branches. This is a number one rigger. Just restate these. I'll just put a few in for you. Just to show you. Just build the 
branch used to be a tree. I'll continue on with that and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Once you've painted your trees and got all your branches in, with the same mix of ultramarine and burnt umber, finish off the bushes, just giving them some dark tones. Sienna and ultramarine, just painting the roof. Couple of chimneys at the same time, just drop in some light red. This will give the roof a bit of variation. Maybe put a few grasses growing in the foreground. that is done, all I have to do is leave it to dry, sign it, mount it and frame it. Thank you. 